So that was my version of Tisho Mango Blues by Spencer Williams, a song that goes back to 1917. And I'm playing an arrangement, uh, well, based on an arrangement by Joel Mabus. And if you're interested in the tablature and more information about the song, please do open the video description below. We're in standard tuning and playing out of the key of C. And let's play the first couple bars slowly. So we're sliding to the third fret third string. Open a fourth string and then we're forming an F chord and preferably with a thumb wrap. And back to C after one measure of F. And <clears throat> the pinky does the work of course for the F6 here. Alternating bass between for the C chord. And then measure 5. the hardest part getting that fourth fret while keeping the bass on the first fret sixth string and you see I'm releasing my index finger for the, of the chord so I'm able to do that tilt a bit more easily so measure uh, six and I mute with my picking fingers finger, the middle finger, like that, back to C. In measure 9, I'm doing a hammer-on with my index finger on the 3rd string 2nd fret, and then I'm going back to the 1st fret 2nd string. And with the temp, as beat, the fourth beat of the ninth measure, pull off. So one more time that ninth measure. G. Same pull off there. G7. measure, pinky and third finger, third fret, second fret, fifth, fourth string, move up, third fret, fourth fret, open, and again in the C, that bass, that goes from 5, 4, 6, 4. So that was the 13th measure, and in the 14th measure we're going back to G. And these two measures, 14 and 15, G and D7, we're going to do the alternating bass between the 6th string and the 3rd string. D7. And then a sort of turn around. And then we have the B parts. All the parts are a variation of the first part, of course. So we have an arpeggio, C chord, with the pinky on the third fret. Pull off. 
first fret. Move over to the fourth fret of the second string. And then I release the chord when I'm at the, the D on the second string there. So I'm going to get this D open fourth string. Notice in the performance that I accent that change there. So back to our uh, 22nd measure. And I'm sliding my pinky to the fourth fret and playing the open bass string in the last beat of measure 23. So one more time, measure 23. Noticed when I studied the part, the song, that the change uh, in measure 26 to 27, and to get the full E7 chord right at once, I made mistakes. So I found out that if I use the pinky first, followed by the other fingers, then my transition is more easy, anyway, for me. So measure 26 and 27. Sliding into the A minor chord. And the last beat should be not an open uh, D string, but fretted. I'm not sure how that got there. You can do it, of course. Well, it works too. To go to that, uh, well, I named it the C6 C chord. It's a diminished chord. It's the same as the diminished chord that we all know. If you move it up uh, in the same space, then it sounds the same because the notes are the same but not on the same positions. That is the case with that uh, diminished chords and I think it's the same with this one. So when we go to the A minor bottom page one uh, measure 28 and slide one uh, open one and second frets arpeggio and, and make it strong so it lasts and C After that diminished chord, I'm going to a C and the alternating bass is between 5 and 3. Leave your pinky on the 3rd fret 1st string. Now go back 1 fret and slide. Pinky 5th fret. G7, C7. So 
at measure 35, I prefer to play it with just fretting the third fret of the fifth string and then forming the G chord in the third beat, the C chord, sorry. Moving into our F chord. So if you have, if you have trouble of moving playing that first fret of the bass string and the fourth fret of the second string, then measure 36 is a solution. So you could uh, use that measure 36 in, for example, uh, measure 7 uh, or measure 33, well, more or less. So it's a solution. Just Pinky goes from the fourth fret to the third fret. So one more time, 35 and 36. section, measure 41, so we have our C chord, and on the offbeat we're playing the <coughs> 6 string 3rd fret, to, uh, as an introduction to our those two triplets. So one more time, and I'm playing all with temp. So measure 41, pinch, sorry, so that's a lot of movement there. Uh, let's uh, take it back from 41. Slide to the 4th fret, 3rd string, 1st fret. Sorry, 1st string, 3rd uh, fret, like a partial G chord. Going down. Pinky and 3rd finger on the 3rd fret, 2nd and 4th string. down and using the open uh, G string in between but not loud, I understand that. Partial uh, C chord and then a G, G7 sorry, hammer on second fret of the third string, C, Second string, third fret, second fret, and move it up. And again, that open a G string. Now we lay an, uh, <coughs> a fret in between, five, three, going down, going up, and second fret, sixth string, partial uh, D chord. NRG. All right, let's play the whole thing again from uh, measure 41 slowly. Six G and the bass goes between the sixth string and the third string. G seven 
strings are D7. Leave the index on the 1st fret 2nd string. And move to a F sharp 7 diminished. 5-4-5-4. Five, four, five, four. And you can either do the slide like that or or already form the chord and then that's the easiest thing I think. Open. All right, that's also a well tricky uh, measure. G and well, I'm doing this with a turn prep on the uh, sixth string third fret. Hammer on, pull off, go down, form the G7, the traditional way, pull off, third fret, first fret on the second string, and play the open G string with a thumb. So the, the thumb does that in this uh, measure. Then you uh, place your pinky on the third string, third fret, slide to the fourth fret, open fourth uh, string, fourth fret, third fret, and index to the sixth string. Maybe a bit uncommon, but it works. Then we go back to B. For two measures. Uh, <clears throat> and then we're playing measures 51 and 52, the variations for bars 20 and 21. Sorry. Slowly. Sounds a bit off key, but what follows makes it okay. So that's a C7 run. That was all with the tap. index and then we go back to measure 22 and that's the variation measure 53, the variation for bar 29, so using the chord, same chord, same chord position and move it up, and I see there's a mistake in the, in the tap, so the first beat is a chord 4, 2, 3, Move it up to seven, five, six, and then eight, nine. That's it. I'll uh, correct the tap and hit, and then uh, we're going back to measure thirty. instead of measure 34. So that's it for Tishomingo Blues. Have fun!